myself a real good time I've been lying And the world is turning inside out Yeah, floating around And it still seems so You realize it's recording? Embarrassing. Hello, YouTube, how are we doing? Um, hope you're all okay. I uh, hope you enjoyed Dudsbury. It's just sort of nice to get back out with the camera again, and here we are again. Obviously, played very well at Dudsbury. Sort of couldn't miss a pup. I was just holding everything. It's a bit of one of the, it's just one of those nights, everything come together. You saw the pups that were dropping, you know, their 15 foot, 20 foot pups, they don't drop. On the odd occasion they do. Droppity drop drop. Um, and that was one of them. I'm not expecting the same from tonight. Obviously that Dudsbury round was a bit of a warm up round for my Hardy match of the weekend which went well, ended up winning, I was playing with Boris, who you might have seen his tee shot, uh, and we won six and four. It was a bit of a drubbing, considering we were away from home. Um, we took the sweepstake money as well, so that was nice. We had the biggest win, and the team won 4-1, more importantly, which takes us through to the semi-finals, where we are playing against Ferndown Golf Club. I think it has to be played at either Sherbourne or Eiford, um, as they're the other semi-finalists, and it sort of has to be on a mutual ground. So there we go. Tonight is what you guys want. Me versus Oliver Moore. The next match, if you like. I believe it's one all in the series. So all to play for. Ollie is annihilating his driver at the moment, so he is going to be deadly, as always is. Um, I'm sure his putting will have improved from Dudsbury. Missed a fair few opportunities there and let me run away with it, really. Um, but obviously, back to giving him three shots tonight. I'm off 13, he's off 16, I think. So I was 16 or 15. I think he's like 15.7, so he's off 16. So three shots. Stroke index one here at Crane Valley is a bogey hole all day long. Take, if you make a bogey on there, you're happy with it. So that's going to be a hard one. Um, yeah, should be good. Will be interesting to see what happens. Going to get buggy as well, just for a treat. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Hello. Here he is, finally here. Five minutes late, as always. Who likes the cap? <laughs> <laughs> I've also gone with matching pulled up socks. Wimbledon and all. Yep. Tribute. I just wearing normal golf clothes. Normal golf attire. In fact, Celtic Manor winning outfit. Second place. Um, <laughs> we're going to play off the backs today, even though the whites are slightly forward. See, so we are going to play off the plates, because um, why not? We want to show you Crane Valley in all its glory. It's going to be very dry out there, as everywhere is, hence the yellow. Um, and the putting green has been sanded, so I'm assuming everywhere has been sanded which is a shame, but it's still rolling nice, so I'm sure it'll be all good. We are one all in the series. One one. One one in the series. So, <laughs> put in the comments down below who you think's gonna win today in this part. Um, and if you're right, you get a chance to win this signed Callaway Warbird golf ball. That's right, just one ball. 
how do we know, can I just say, how do we know if someone watches part four and then just goes back and comments in part one? Well, because we'll stop all comments when you've uploaded part one. But as soon as part two goes up, yeah, that's it, voting over. So yeah. you'll have 24 hours to vote because it'll be a day apart, I imagine. It's got a T on it already. T -t 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 and it is a pretty horrific ball, but it'll be a monumental <laughs> monument, <laughs> memento, monument. A memento <laughs> of today. It will. That it will. I mean, it's not worth winning, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would be fine if no one comments at all. I didn't know why you suggested that. <laughs> not even my suggestion. Uh, we're also going to talk about the uh, Mark Crossfield incident as well. Yeah, UK junglist brought it to my attention after Ollie had already mentioned it to me myself. But we thought we'd touch on it and just... We haven't actually spoke about it in private. I stopped Ollie from telling me his opinions before we spoke about it. So it's not rehearsed, so it's going to be legitimate. Legit. All right. So this is a par four. It just goes straight down here and sort of after these trees. It just There's a little green over there. Um, the line is sort of where that tower is. I've got six iron. Six iron for Ollie, because he knows it runs. Oh, First play, right? swing of the day. Look at those socks. Match play. What do you play off? 16? Yeah. So three shots. And that is down towards the path. Over the path and into trouble. Looks like I might be reloading. Dear, or just give it to me. Whatever you want to do. No. Man. I won't. Playing roughly off the back tee. Doesn't have to be in line with this, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bridgestone 3. Uh, that's good, I've got a Bridgestone 3. Is it? Mine's got pink on it though. Mine's a Tor B330X. Oh. With, with zero markings. Okay. Good start though for me, that, isn't it? One bounce off the path and into the long stuff. First swing of the day then? Yeah, it was. But what about it? Oh, yeah. He has gone the opposite way. Short All right. Bend. Oh, he's showing four already. It's safer than yours. It is. I won't take another one, I'll just walk down there, okay? Sure. Sure ting, a ding a ling. So he's got a buggy. Lost my tea as well. Got a buggy. Exciting. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, so Wayne has found the other fairway. It's not actually a bad line in. The green is just, uh, just there. So he's normally good at these. Hit that so well. Please be the club. Tiny bit short. Very good. Well done. After a rummage in the grass, we cannot find it. Ollie has conceded his hole. I am one up. So I'm just going to play it anyway. Yeah, we just he's just dropping one. You know, we haven't even we've had one swing today. So but, nice line into the green from here. As you can see, struck that well. Just to the left, just trickling, trickling, just trickling. Trickle. That's what it's doing, trickling. Okay, um, so Wayne is there for two. Yeah, close. close. Let that be a lesson to you. Always take a second off the tee. I guess we didn't because sometimes it can be all right there. But it means I'm one down already. Oh dear. Quite a lengthy putt for Ollie. We've done well to keep the ball on the green. We seem quite soft, which is nice. Oh, that's bad. It's a good weight, good weight. Good enough. Did you want to tap it in? Just for fun? Yeah, just for fun. Because you're a fun guy. Still filming? Yeah. Love filming. Oh, damn. Thanks, that's a... 
nothing. It's a nothing. So this is fuel par. Uh, for those of you that watched the recent DGS vlog, Wayne was absolutely destroying these type of putts all day. Today's a new day, Oliver. Today is a new day. Hit it. Good five, good start. One up. One up, Mr. Dewey. One up. You get out and pick up my driver. Yeah, maybe that's why I should drive the buggy. All right. And then you can faff around with whatever you need to. Okay, sure. We're just talking about the camera and the buggy because this is the first time we've used a buggy. Wayne, what club you got? Six iron. What's the plan? Just to get it up to those trees in the distance? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me that in the gap. Okay. But back far enough for it to be punctually. Okay. Third swing of the day, so not expect too much. No, get down quicker. Get left, it's not gonna get left and get right. Not sure if I saw it. Not sure if I saw it. Did it go in though? Not sure. Didn't see it after its second bounce. I'll be hitting another. Okay. Mr. Moore going with Twist Face, of course. He's been hitting it so blooming lovely. We don't blame him. Lovely big socks. Oh, twist it. And straight down the middle. Oh, it's a big bounce. I remember me doing a very similar shot like that once last year. Made shots of the year 2017. I remember that. I remember giving myself a fantastic eagle opportunity though. Yeah. So you will be doing the same. Maybe. Very similar, maybe. Twist face. Hit, mate. Thank you. Here, if you want some advice from a 16 handicapper, 15.7. My advice to you is this: don't try and swing the pants off of it. That seems to have helped me recently with my driver. It might not help you, but... Provisional, Wilson staff number three. Tapping it down there. Oh, that's lovely. Should have just done that the first time, shouldn't he? I think I got it, hopefully. Good shot, very good shot. Okay, so we found Wayne's ball. It's actually come up with a quite a nice lie. It's so predictable, unpredictable, this grass, isn't it? Yeah. What club you got? I've got a nine iron. I was hoping to get it over those trees, really. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, he's been so lucky. That is so good. That's what you were saying about the, you don't know where it's going to go, but if you wane, it is going to go into the trees and back into the middle of the fairway. Fairway! 277. I am miles down there. But anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's a great hit. In the bottom of the tree. Bottom of the tree. In the bottom of the tree. Do we get another one, Oliver? I mean, that's it. Oh, I know that was good still, isn't it? One, two, it's you. three, shot four. Probably be able to find that. I mean, yeah, it's just little. Yeah, over there, couldn't I? Yeah. Yep, see that happen. Watch out. Ollie in a phenomenal position here. 187 to the green. Yeah, I've got seven iron, but I'm just going to try and like punch it a little bit because it's not going to come out. Downwind, 7-iron, punch it. I'm in trouble. Oh, 
a great shot, but it's just to the left there. Just in the bunker. Almost. Almost very good. Almost. Almost very good. And look at Okay, so Wayne has taken advantage of the rules, so it was in the middle of that, so he's taken an unplayable, um, and that means he can go back as far as he wants in line with the hole, so he's dropped out the flag, and he's dropped out this way. Um, so, fortunate. Well, I think this hole's going to me. Yeah. Let's stand here so we can get a, a view of the flag and Wayne. What are you going to do here, Flop? I'm just going to try and knock it over the top of the tree, really, but it's quite close to me. Quite high. It's dropped in the middle, isn't it? It sounded that way. Oh. You gonna concede it? I don't know, it depends where it's led. Okay, I've conceded the hole. This is a new bunker at Crane. They've done several bunkers over the winter. This is one of the newbies. Gloriously out. Mmm. Good, wasn't it? Very good. It's almost like I couldn't be asked to hit it. Almost like that. They are sandy, aren't they? Good boy, look at that. Got to look after your bunkers. Here we are as members looking after the bunkers. He's filled in everything there. Gorgeous. Well done, you. Tough. Putter, the club of choice here, which is, it's got a lot of weird ground to go through is odd. Fuck it. Why did I concede? <laughs> sure. I know, that's why I said sure. Because I was sure you were. Yeah, we could have just picked up. I'll just show the guys the green side and stuff. We are, this, there you go guys. That was silly then, wasted that one up, didn't I? He gave me one up and I gave him one straight back. All square, going up the third, twist face in my face. <sighs> Stroke index one, monster all the way up there, leg to the right. Twist my face. Oh, he's got a very good, favourable bounce. It went over this ditch, over that, and hey, just see it running there, look. Got away with that twist face, didn't you? What do I do now? He's done that. I was thinking maybe I'll hit driver because I need to make a four because he's going to make a five. Now it's debatable whether he'll make a five. I'll make a five. It's par four, by the way. Yeah. Went in Rome. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't very good, was it? But a bit quick on it. Remember what we were saying about being quick on the last hole? Or slow? Tried ripping that. Look what happened. It's a wind as well. It's amateur golf though, as I keep saying a lot of the time. Mainly when I hit a bad one. Oh, he's absolutely nailed it. Over the agate man. Such a good shot. Such a good shot. We have a little pitching wedge hidden from there. Okay, Ollie doesn't really have a shot. He's taking the weaker route out, shall we say. He's going for a five iron under the right hand side of the tree. Sort of chasing it off. It's not expecting it to get on the green. Um, it's a scabby knock. He's done really well. I mean, I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it's racing up to the towards the green. There it is. Good shot, mate. Got some lucky kicks off that tree, didn't you? No, that was just well hit 
Oh yeah, of course. Saying it's a good, I said good shot, mate. But you oh, got some lucky, oh, sorry. lucky kicks yeah, too, didn't you? That's right. Getting yeah, well done, mate. All right, big boy. What you got? Eight iron. From how many yards? 100 and, uh, it's 148 to the front edge of the green. Slightly uphill, and slightly downwind. So I'm hoping this is the right bluff. I think it has. Yeah, I think it's spot on. Sorry for my wobbly. Yeah, that's been I left. Judged. Great shot, Wayne. Thank you. I do get a shot here, though. You do. That's and that is a contentious good. thing, isn't it? Getting a shot and talking about it. Yeah, you didn't even mention it to me. Oh, did you? No, but you didn't get annoyed with me. Why would I? But if I didn't, over and over again, then might have reason to. We'll save this chat for a bit. I'm pretty happy with my shot there. It's, uh, I thought it was going to turn more left than that and it just didn't. So happy with that. Tough hole, stroke index one. I never take driver off that tee, maybe I should do that more often. What you got Ollie, do you know? Or do you... Yeah, 60 degrees. 60... Oh, I don't know, um, yeah, yardage. Uh, Not far to go, it's only a flick in it. 60 degree, a bit spinny, he says. He has nipped it, it's just at the left. Holding round, holding down a swale there. Is it going any further? I haven't seen it come any further round, so. Oh no, I have seen it. Yeah, it's just at the back there. Just appeared. There he is. Am I, mate? Still. Don't forget you got a shot here. It's alright, you're there for three net two. Same as me. A rather dubious red flag position, I would say sort of front middle. Just, isn't it? Only just front of the green. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That is where the middle would be. It's just, you know, it's not as front as I thought it would be. It's at least 15 yards on from the front, isn't it? Yeah. Do you got a shot? Not close at all. It's really slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's slow. It's easy for you. The Olly Moore greens are slow mind games. Oh, I thought they were slow. It would if you only tap it, it would be slow. So, for his five net four. Got it. Oh, he hasn't. All right. Good enough though, mate. Yeah, take it away. Six net five. So I've got two for the half, one for the win. Blast. Should really give that to him, shouldn't I? Two for the half. Two for the half. One for the win. One well up. done. One up again. On a shot hole as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they really matter? No. Are we allowed to call it buggy time? No, we can't. We can't call it buggy time. No, surely. Yeah, we can't. We'll call it car action. Welcome to car action. Uh, and this isn't, it's not copying Mark Crossfield's one. It's just that we're in a car and we're going to the next hole. It just happens. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah, he's done the same thing. I mean, we've touched on the crossfield thing, so should we talk about it, really? So, what your view on it? 
What's your view on it? Oh, it's just the incident was when Mark had a go at um, Ray for not actually, and it was a proper like having a go, for not stating that he's got um, a shot on the whole. And the reason that I think Mark does it is because he he's doing it for the viewers, so he doesn't care for himself. He's doing it to let the viewers know that there's a shot. And if he's asked Ray like continuously all the time, please make sure you blah blah blah. I just think it's a bit like. It would get annoying after a while, and you know that if you're mates, and if you're really good mates with someone, you can have that mouth off sometimes, and it's fine, because afterwards you're just like, oh, you know, shut up, or you're a dick, or whatever, and it's back to normal. So I think that it, A, shows that they're good mates, and B, you can have a mouth off if you want, otherwise you'll just bottle it up and end up, like, murdering him or something. Wasn't it mental, though? Do you I'm think surprised... it was over-the-top mouth off? No, I'm just surprised they showed it. I'm glad they did show it. Yeah, I'm glad they did. I think fair place to both of them. I, I think it was fair enough. Yeah, I... Have I changed your mind now? No, but I do appreciate all the points that you have made, without a doubt. But I just... There's no way that, that's looking at me. <laughs> He's now. I just think it was out of order. I think it was over the top. Like, if you spoke to me like that, I'd be like... Ollie. Yeah, but we haven't got that relationship. They might have that relationship and we don't know what goes on off camera. That's true. That is true. But I just wouldn't talk to anybody like that. I just... He was banging his driver into the ground at one point. He was just getting het up and het up and het up, like, uncontrollably. He could have had a bad day, though. We don't know what happened before that. No, I know that. I do understand all of that. But at the same time, you don't know what's going on in anybody's life. So you don't know what's going on in Ray's life. Exactly. Well, Ray could have just called him a bell end off camera or something. It might we don't have know that. No, no. He we could. It could that. have been like, oh, stop moaning your bell end, and that could have really got Mark. But we don't see that, so no, I think it's difficult to judge. It is. You can't judge it fairly without actually hearing the conversation, because because Rory might have been there going, shut up, shut up. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, yeah. Shut up, which would get you raw. No, Rory. No. Ah. I get. So I do understand that. I I enjoy his vlogs. I enjoy how much effort he puts in. I know he obviously Great. gets paid for a lot of it. Yeah. And I just think, yeah, he's had, a, he's had a belly off, but it's his channel. He can do what yeah. he wants. People don't like it, they don't have to yeah. watch. I think my point about it, and a lot of people, as I've, I've gone through a lot of the comments on that video. I know, I saw yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I even had, and Mark even replied to one of mine. Did he? Did he call you an idiot? And he actually replied a couple of times, and we had a little conversation about it. Best friends now. Not best friends. <laughs> but he sort of said to me, it's a job for me. It's not a fun round. Because I said, surely you guys are just going out and trying to have a fun round. And he said, it's a job. It is a job, you're right. It is a job. And I then went back and said, but it's a dream job that everyone watching would want to be in your position. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something else to you. For any of um, you guys who know Tottenham Hotspur, guy called Benoit Esu Okotu he used to play left back for Spurs. That was a job for him. That was a job for him. It was some people's dream it. job, but it was yeah. his job. So yeah, but there you go. Let's can we play golf now? Sure. Let's talk about it in a bit. Sure. Good conversation though. Good start to it. Yeah. This is gonna last this has got some legs, isn't it? We got what is this par four this one? It is a par four. Yeah par four. I should know that. Par four four. It's around the corner.